Hello, everyone. I'm Richard Snyder, a stained glass artist. I specialize in lead came and restoration. Uh, we're here at the Oak Hill Chapel in Janesville, Wisconsin. Today is November 14, 2013. Jim the Crittenden, the cameraman, and I are here to remove one of the stained glass windows that are 114 years old uh, to do a full restoration in my studio and we will videotape and document every step along the way. Uh, please join me uh, inside the chapel now and uh, we'll set up to remove the first uh, of a double hung window. Come on in and join us. This is Yeah, we're here at the north side of the chapel. Uh, this is the double hung, half of the double hung. Uh, the tools that I use uh, in order to get the molding off that's uh, up against the, the wood frame here is uh, uh, basically your hammer and a uh, utility knife. There's two different types of utility knives that, uh, you know, both of them are very useful. But the snap-off uh, does not work very well with uh, cutting the, the paint and uh, caulk, if there's caulk there, because as you pull down and put pressure against uh, the, the joint itself, the blades sometimes pull out. They're just not very secure. Uh, whereas you have your old typical Stanley utility knife blade, they stay put and uh, it's a very strong knife to
to use in this type of an application. Okay, we're going to score uh, the connection here where the paint has been painted a hundred and uh, probably many, many times, uh, being 114 years old. Uh, so the molding that is holding the window in from top to bottom and uh, along the runner here of a double hung, we're just going to go around the edge here right up to it and just follow that carefully to cut that seal. You don't want to cut into either part, you just want to cut right directly in between, all the way down. We want to save it and reuse it. It's easy to, to get off, so you have to be careful. All you're doing is cutting that paint seal. And then come up from the back, from the bottom. And you got to take your time, that's the key. And just cut it just like that. On both sides, bottom and top. Uh, the seal between, uh, as you can see here, the lower double hung and the upper uh, double hung where they meet and lock with the hardware. Through the years, uh, and plus the fact they never had storm windows and the swelling of those windows through the years, 114 years, it uh, almost locks in place. And then of course also the fact that when they redecorate and paint, uh, they probably painted that crack, that connection, and that will also have to be scored with the utility knife to break that seal in order to get this lower half of the double hung out.
One of the reasons of scoring with the utility knife around the uh, window itself, whether it's uh, just a stained glass window uh, that's been set in a, a metal frame like a lot of churches have done, other than a wood frame like this particular application, is that if you don't score it and you, you uh, uh, insert a uh, putty knife between the framework in the molding, chances are you're going to split the wood. This is 114 years old. By scoring it, we'll separate it. So when you do insert that putty knife, uh, it will break that seal. And the same goes with where the two double hungs meet here, where the lock is, uh, the halfway point between the double hung. You need to, to score that. That will split that seam. Okay, uh, we went around all the molding. Now we're going to score the actual frame of the double hung to the back side of the molding with the score knife, and you have to do that on, on uh, three sides, the bottom and the two sides. And carefully, right in that corner. You don't want to cut into the molding or the frame of the double hung. All you want to do is break the seam which is paint, or it could be caulk if they caulked it. like that. These are uh, nails that they put in place here uh, to hold, uh, secure the double hung, the lower half of the double hung in order to get this uh, section of the double, the lower section uh, out of the frame here. We're going to have to pop those up. So I'll score it with the razor knife around it and then uh, use a flat standard screwdriver and get under it and pry it up and out of the way. There's one on the right and there's one on the left. Then we're going to have to uh, work on this lock here uh, to get that free. And uh, that as well will loosen up. put a block uh, of wood against this so uh, not to dent the wood. If I use just the pliers like I was trying there to pull it out, it's, it's fairly loose. But if I don't put uh, some type of pr protection there against the frame or the molding, I will dent it. And uh, that is something that I, I'm always very careful of not uh, destroying either one. 
go. Okay. Yeah. Here it comes. There it is. And just take your time and you'll get it out without any damage. Okay, now with the window lock here, after we scored it with the razor knife along the connection where they uh, come together, then you can put a screwdriver in there, a standard screwdriver, uh, carefully and just wedge it and break that seal without a problem. By scoring it, it isn't going to uh, chip out on either surface here, and without scoring it, you would. It would crack, uh, being as age that it is, and brittle. It, it could have broke into the wood here, and then that's really hard to fix. But that, you can see, see it move there. So that seam tells me that it's been scored properly, It's clear. With removing the trim here, the molding that's up against the lower half of the double hung, uh, we're going to have to flex the center of it. Uh, it's got miter joints at the top and at the bottom. You just can't pull that out straight out because of that miter joint. You're going to split it. Release it in the center here with a very thin putty knife uh, to just get in there and spread it apart. And as we spread it apart, uh, more and more we'll be able to put in a thicker putty knife to the point that we could get a pry bar in there and spread it out. You do the best you can and take your time. Get it right on that surface there. You don't really want to use a, a chisel because it dents the wood. Down here you got your miter, so, so it, the key is to just take your time. Okay, now I'll take the flat bar. Pushing forward and pulling back, back and forth. It pulls out from the front, it pulls out from the back. The way they cut this miter, uh, very unique, uh, back 114 years ago, early uh, 1900s, late 1800s, uh, is that they overlap the front. It was like a coping saw cut to match the front uh, where they meet to make it look like it was a miter cut in the front, but actually in the back, it's cut straight back. The sides were put on last. Uh, if that was a true miter, you would have to flex it in the center and pull it out from the center to break a total miter there. This will pull straight out again, and there it is. That's the one piece in pristine condition that can be reused. The way that they cut it, you can pull it straight out from each side and uh, to do this uh, uh, removal of the window. taken off that is that holds the, the lower half of the double hung uh, uh, into the frame. Okay, I'm just scoring it along here with this tool. Just to, there, see it goes all the way back to the to the outside behind the framework to the window stop. Much just like that. We've scored the bottom. Uh, we've freed the lock up here. Uh, we removed the nails that held it in place securely. 
and uh, it's pretty much ready, I think, to come straight back. We broke the seal up here, the connection, and uh, it should come straight back. Okay, it's cracked where we broke the seam along the uh, both sides outside of the window. You can see where it's cracked along here. I'll just rescore it there. Okay, down here, this is where it's holding up. That's still sealed. So we're going to run the knife along there just to break that seal. Okay. I think that's ready there. This uh, nail I put in here temporary to hold it in place because the window itself is loose. Uh, we went outside to cut the seal on the bottom uh, just to break that connection uh, because of the uh, damaged wood in the age of the wood that if you don't cut the seal, uh, you could pull it apart and we want to restore it as, as much as possible and keep it intact. We left uh, the bottom molding in and uh, we cut the seal uh, in the front and the back. We just uh, do not want to see this moving uh, different than the sides that would tell me that it's rotted uh, in a way that it could pull apart. So. Carefully, we want to just pull it forward, back and forth to kind of break it underneath. We could try and lift up a little bit. We may you just take your time, pull it up a little, wiggle it. I think we're going to have to take that bottom molding off. Okay, here we go. Another A1 piece that can be reused. Hundred and fourteen year old nails. And bring it up, wiggle it back and forth. Move your tools out of the way. Here's the part right here. Out of the cable. Hang on to it here. The, the weight in there. The way they attached this uh, years ago was they just put a knot in the end of the rope uh, into the double hung. You pull it out and it comes right out. Very simple application. And we'll just let that go. You can hear the weight inside the wall. This is the lower half. We'll take to the studio, take it out of the frame, and do the restoration in a step-by-step -step process. Thank you.